Welcome back to Affiliate Reviews. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at Movie Vault. Uh, this is not a promotional or an advertising video. This is an honest review. There will be a link to the product uh, on the sales page in the video description down below, but this is, as always on this channel, my honest opinion of this particular product. Uh, now, Movie Vault launched yesterday. Uh, I had meant to get this out before it launched, but uh, unfortunately, I was unable to do that. That does give us the opportunity for a little bit of additional insight, and we'll get to that before we're done. Movie Vault essentially is claiming to be, there's, there's a number of these around. It's uh, an app or uh, it, it is a web-based service, <clears throat> excuse me, that's going to let you create your own movie and TV website. So uh, you, you see these around all the time. I don't have examples because I don't really go to them myself. Uh, I don't particularly disparage those who do or anything. It's just not really my sort of thing. But you, you get all of the little uh, TV and movie websites that give you all the articles on who the actor is or so-and-so did this or what's going on in the show or what the creative team is up to. Right? This is the kind of thing that you're going to get. Now, of course, what it means, because it's automated, is it's not obviously building you a website from scratch. That means you're pulling in articles and things from other places. Claims it's going to do it in three easy clicks. Okay, so we, we see this claim a lot, three steps or three clicks. Uh, activate your website in 250 plus different categories. Zero audience required because you can tap into their 443 million viewers. Now, I, I was going to go a little further and then start jumping into this, but let's let's start right now. Okay, uh, no no service starts in just three clicks. Okay, we went we've gone through this. I don't even know how many times, but obviously any service that you sign up for, you're going to have to put in information. You're going to have to submit information. You're going to have to link, especially if you're monetizing it. Um, there's going to be additional stuff. Nothing sets up in three clicks. Uh, you can't play, you can't play an MMO in three clicks, much less, uh, you can't sign up for Netflix in three clicks. Okay. Much less launch your own website. Uh, 250 plus different categories. Uh, I suppose between categories and subcategories and whatever, I suppose this is, I have no idea. Uh, zero audience required. Now, if somebody has 443 million viewers, uh, now I live in Canada. I think the population of the United States to the south of us is about 360 million people. So this is, uh, this is a pretty extravagant number. If you have 443 million viewers, uh, frankly, you're cloning your own sites and monetizing them rather than trying to sell the service to somebody else for $17. I, I do find this to be a very, very, very dubious claim. Uh, in fact, um, you know, I kind of want to... Uh, I'm not going to do this on... Peter, but I do have my phone out. Let's check out. Uh, I keep talking while I do this. Uh, 1,200 plus money making affiliate websites have been successfully launched using Movie Vault. Um, this is, so far as I'm aware, not true. In fact, uh, I'm going to pull up some evidence for this. Uh, we have Movie Vault over here. Now, this is Movie Vault on Warrior Plus. I suppose it's possible that they launched it earlier on other platforms. Uh, we can see Movie Vault. Uh, there's no good way to do this. But we can see Movie Vault up here at the top. Movie Vault, Movies and TV Show Affiliate Site Builder. Uh, and it's telling us that it launched yesterday on June 17th. It has sold a little over 250 uh, now, 250 plus sales does not mean that 250 people have bought it. It means that over the entire sales funnel, there have been 250 plus sales. So if you have five products in a funnel and 10 people buy them, that doesn't count as 10 sales. That actually counts as 50 sales. Okay, so 
you're looking at 250 sales. So it's really hard to imagine just running off of that, that 1200 money-making affiliate sites have been launched using something that has, again, it, only on Warrior Plus, uh, but something that launched yesterday and has sold 250. Uh, if you've, again, if you've launched 1200 plus yourself, then why wouldn't you just keep going or hire somebody to, uh, to, to run some? Uh, let's see here. Let's go back over here, look at some more claims now. So I just did a quick Google search here and, uh, these guys are claiming 443 million viewers. Netflix currently has 74.58 million subscribers in the U.S. and Canada. It's, again, these, these seem like somewhat spuriously inflated numbers to me. Uh, 24 beta testers have generated a net profit of $43,000. $43,673. Um, the, the difficulty with claims like this is that it's really difficult to check them out. Uh, I have, I don't remember how long ago it was. I do remember doing a video where that somebody actually showed uh, can't remember the specific user. I have seen one person, I think, who actually showed a full account screenshot that actually showed a, a, a username. All of the sales were directly related to the product, but as a rule, no one really provide, very few vendors provide uh, information to back this up. This will be about 90% of the website that we actually look at or the sales page that we look at because most of what's on here is just the usual hype. Uh, blazing fast and reliable web hosting, newbie friendly. Uh, lots of people see this. Uh, the, uh, one, of, one of the upsells, of course, is done for you. Uh, and of course, it is a mostly done for you product in the first place. No hidden fee or extra expenses. This is a half truth because there, there is and there isn't because what's going to happen is you're going to buy the original product or you're intended to buy the original product for $17 and then you're going to be offered a number of upsells. So you know what, let's jump over and look at this right now. This is the site. Uh, this is the, uh, the product profile page on Warrior Plus. Then we can look at products and here's our original 1730. The, right away, we've got a pro version for an additional 37. These aren't different options, by the way. These are upsells. So it's not as though instead of 1730, you can pay 37. You have to buy the base in order to get anything else. Uh, and you've got a pro, an advance, a done for you agency reseller, which is separate. Reseller means that you can rebrand it and resell the product yourself. Uh, white label. So these, these first ones we've got 17, 37, 47, 97, 97. So you're you're looking at around the area of three hundred dollars uh, U.S. approximately to to purchase everything. So no hidden fees. Well, yes and no because some of the uh, some of the claims that are in here, you know, twenty four beta testers might have generated. Now, 24 beta testers, if this was done, 24 beta testers with 1,200 plus money-making affiliate websites, because this is the only way that we can say there's been 1,200, 1,200 uh, uh, money-making affiliate websites made. Um, we do the math on this. This is, these guys are each carrying a huge number of websites. Um, and, you know, if we, uh, if we start looking at 43,000 and we divide that by 1,200 websites, Boy, all of a sudden, that's that's significantly less impressive. All right, sudden, suddenly, instead of, you know, this is supposed to make it look like we've made uh, thousands and thousands of dollars per website, but the reality is that it's, you know, what, 30, about 30, about no, not, oh, just under $36 per, per site. Um, and... Same thing. We've got you know, what with twenty four. Yeah, we're you know, there, there's a each 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 beta tester apparently is carrying about fifty websites each. So 
you're not looking... Th these are actually poorer claims than they're aiming for. Uh, legal and ethical. Uh, yes and no. Um, again, it's not creating original content. What you're doing is you're scooping content from other places. So unless someone is writing all of these articles for mass production, and there are places that do this, by the way. We, I do reviews on PLR all the time. Um, private label rights. There are people who what they do is they write articles basically for syndication. Ironclad 30-day money-back guarantee. This is probably the one thing that is valid on this so far uh, because if you purchase a product through Warrior Plus, they hold the money for 30 days. They will make sure that you get your money back. Okay, that's not because of the vendor. That's because of Warrior Plus. Now, we're going to scroll pretty quickly through everything else. We're going to see steps one, two, three. Interesting here how three clicks away, step one, access. Um log in well step one isn't to log in. step one is to create your account All right, I, I, I just you, you guys if you've watched my videos before you know i i really hate the it's it's a small lie i know but look how easy it is step one step two step three um no it, it's not uh any shots like meaningless to us uh because well this is this is showing us that this is a Warrior Plus screenshot of, of all other things. So why you're going to show somebody a Warrior Plus screenshot uh, and up here, seriously, if you're going to make claims, uh, this is claiming that 24 beta testers have made $43,000. This is showing one Warrior Plus screenshot uh, for $17,000 over the last month. Okay, so, I mean... Why would Movie Vault? Presumably, your income from Movie Vault is going to be generating you income using, you know, ads and other sales platforms, not Warrior Plus. Warrior Plus is a site that's selling you products like this. So this screenshot just makes absolutely no sense, other than everybody puts like this on their sales page. So we're it. It seems a little bit. Uh, I don't know, it doesn't, doesn't make sense, it doesn't follow. Uh, we've got a couple of uh, a couple of testimonials here, which again, as usual, completely meaningless, and apparently this guy, Daniel Watson, made $393.37 off of Warrior Plus using, and again, what we would expect to see, uh, I'll go back up again here, what we'd expect to see with a, a movie website, you know, you got all this, you can see all the cool graphics in the back. Um, what you would expect is, is regular advertising income, not, not uh, Warrior Plus. There's just not, there's too many things that don't make sense. You know, leads unlocked, get response. Um, I don't know, I suppose you could be building a, uh, I suppose you could be building a, a subscription list. Um, anyway, there, there's a lot of hype on here, uh, and the hype looks good, but as soon as we start looking at the details, even the hype doesn't actually make sense. Uh, this is something, this is a site that somebody has probably paid somebody else to create. Monthly movie subscription income source like Netflix, right? So we're going to we're gonna use Netflix because they're still... Even though they're, I don't even know if they're the biggest anymore, but they're still probably the most popular name, uh, or they have the best name recognition, I should say, in uh, in streaming services. Uh, secret sauce. Movie Vault comes with a secret sauce. Built-in subscription-based tech. All right. Uh, so, so your your opening subscription site. Subscription sites are great. Uh, I have. Uh, I think I've been telling people about subscription sites on here for a fair a fair while. I don't mention it a lot, an awful lot, because normally we're looking at other things. But subscription services are great, but it, it doesn't make sense if you're going to start a subscription site. Don't don't run it through um, a source like Warrior Plus, uh, because why would you? Warrior Plus is going to take a commission uh, in addition to say. Uh, um, oh goodness, I've just lost. 
you know, in, in addition to your monetization service, oh goodness, I got nobody to help me out here. Anyway, uh, PayPal, there we go. PayPal should not have taken me very long. There's no script to these videos, <laughs> obviously. Uh, but in addition to PayPal taking a cut, uh, you're going to have Warrior Plus taking a cut as well. And you know, I just, I don't think I really know many people who've ever set up a subscription service through an outside software system. By the way, it, you'll notice as we're going through here that we're, we're seeing a lot of the same graphics just repeated. Uh, so again, this, this is somebody who's just outsourced the website. They've thrown a bunch of stuff in to build up a lot of hype. Uh, I'm not even going to look at most of this. Obviously, my recommendation to you on this is going to be to not buy the product. I don't think you're going to be satisfied with it. Uh, we will go to the bottom and then look at a couple of other things. Why am I saying you're not going to be satisfied with it? Well, again, anytime it looks amazing, it's probably it's probably not. Uh, so there we go, seventeen dollars and thirty cents. I don't know why the thirty cents, but it's what they decided to do. We're going to throw in some. Uh, actually, there we go. And again, as we get down to the bottom, we've got some disclaimers. Always read the disclaimers. Okay, so we're going to leave it up here. $17. Now let's look over. This is the, the vendor. Uh, they've had some fair to middling success with... There's a 2.27. There's a 2.92. Overall on 132 rating. So there's a lot more than just these guys. Uh, we're looking at a 2.12. Uh, I mentioned earlier in the video that because this was launching a little, or because my video was coming out a little bit late, uh, we had an option for a bit of additional insight. So we looked at those a few minutes ago. Product launch yesterday, 250 sales. Uh, this is the return rate over here. So 2% of the people who have purchased this uh, since yesterday have already asked for their money back. Uh, we've got a couple of other other products, you know, three, now, for the record, 2 to 3% return rate, refund rate is not obscene. It's not bad at all. Uh, it's a little higher than you want to see. Um, if, if I'm launching a product of my own, frankly, I want to see a return video, a, a return rate of, uh, one to zero percent. Um, I would consider 5% high. We do have, uh, they do have a couple of products on here, 6, 7, 11%. So some perhaps slightly more dubious uh, products that they have released. Um, I, I do actually think that Movie Vault is something that has, I don't think, I don't think Movie Vault has been created by this, this vendor. Um, I, ha I don't recall seeing this precise sales page before. Uh, and I have seen an awful lot of sales pages, but I have seen very similar products to this before. Uh, a lot of stuff that looks new and revolutionary in the affiliate marketing world like this ultimately isn't new. It just, if somebody puts it out and it gets recycled, and even though it, they're not necessarily great products, people will buy them so they can get the, the resale or the white label uh, so, I should clarify, resale lets you sell the rights to MovieVolt. So, instead of just setting it up, you can sell MovieVolt yourself. The white label should let you rebrand it and put it out as, as your own. So, anyway, that is a rough synopsis of MovieVolt. Again, I am not going to recommend this. There will be a link to the sales page in the description. I can click on that if you do decide against my against my my better judgment if you still decide that you would like to purchase it uh, if you think you're gonna buy it and then get it refunded honestly please don't buy it through my link if you're really 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 confident that you want to make a go of this and you think there's something to it by all means you can buy it through my link if, if you just genuinely think I'm wrong or you've done some additional market research on this uh, my goal is to help you guys avoid bad products, find good products, and I know stuff like this that claims to be really easy and claims to bring in an income without any work whatsoever. It looks really, really good. 
Unfortunately, most of those products are not nearly what they claim to be. So anyway, that's my two cents. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm going to try to keep new stuff coming out on a regular basis again. Uh, thanks for watching and have a great day, guys.